Johan Öberg, a.k.a. Proma. A dude from Sweden, the land of meatballs. He's been playing video games for 20 years, but he's still not very good at them. Hey! Watch as he embarks on his quest. Will he succeed, or just plain suck? Hello and welcome to another Protoman Plays. This one is kind of my tribute to um, Satoru Iwata, who passed away this weekend. Um, I uh, I literally woke up to the news this morning, although this video will uh, be uploaded tomorrow, so yesterday morning, whatever. Um, I don't. I don't have Balloon Fight, unfortunately, which was a game that he made himself. But I, although Masahiro Sakurai made Kirby, this game, Kirby's Dreamland, or Hoshi no Kabi, um, Satoru Iwata had a lot uh, to do with it. Apparently, it basically got off the ground thanks to him. So that's the one I'm going to pick. And uh, yeah, it was really sad to hear Satoru Iwata's died. I mean, first of all, he was just 55, and 55 is no age to die in. I mean, I would prefer if people didn't die at all. I mean, the good ones at least. But no, 55 is just too too soon. And the, but the last few years with the Nintendo Directs and stuff, he's become such a household figure. And I mean, f considering the fact that he is, he was, I mean, <laughs> the president of Nintendo. And, uh, I mean, the CEO, the, the president. <laughs> and uh, that's a position that should be just uh, some suit. Uh, like a shrewd businessman or something, like Hiroshi Yamuchi was a shrewd businessman. Uh, the guy you would kind of be scared of, and like, oh man, don't uh, piss off Mr. Yamuchi. But Iwata, he was just a nice guy. Uh, I don't know, that's um, the best way I could describe my impression of him is that he, just, that he was nice. And what other what other CEOs of huge companies do you can you name that ha stood holding bananas in a weird way or um, did a, a commercial where he was sucked into the, a 3DS and uh, had a Mario mustache on him and ran away from lava and stuff? I mean, you don't really see that from you don't see that from a, a president of a company. And I guess part of that was because he he, he wasn't re he wasn't the ex executive type from from the beginning. He was he was a programmer and uh, a game creator, um, which is uh, it's not common for those types of people to become presidents of companies for, in the first place and at that age. I'll, I'll miss him a lot. Nintendo Direct will definitely not be the same without him. Ah! Wrong way, wrong way! Now these, that guy is um, Lolo from Adventures of Lolo, or the Japanese version was called Eggerland. So maybe is is his name Egger in the Japanese version? I don't know. But that's a cameo from because this game was made by HAL Laboratory, which uh, Satoru Iwata worked, and um, yeah, Adventures of Lolo or Eggerland was one of their uh, earlier hits. Before Kirby, 
and daydre Daydream and Davy, <laughs> although I wouldn't call that a hit. So, okay, so this... I think that was like curry. It doesn't make you Kirby invulnerable, but he gets like Kirby breath. I mean, curry breath or something. <laughs> Kare Kabi. <laughs> Stay spicy. Still find it kind of odd the fact that Sakurai worked on. He made this game in uh, 1980. No, not 80. 80. 89, 90, 91, something, and he looks, he still looks like he's 18 or something, Sakurai, that's kind of strange. Ma turn around, what's the problem? Stop moonwalking, Kirby. Huh? I don't think this boss battle is anyone's idea of difficult, but I'm having problems. Now, how f long can Kirby hold this? in the first game. Wrong. Fuck! Jump. Uh, down. Man? Oh! One thing I don't like about older Kirby games is the fact that you inhale air into yourself, or fly or whatever, by holding up. Because I, I hit up sometimes by mistake. Yeah? What the hell Never fun! <sighs> okay, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> one really embarrassing game over later. Um found out that it wasn't, it wasn't actually the Super Nintendo that was acting strange in any way. Uh, it was just that I have my DVD recorder set up a bit strange, so it pr produces lag. Oops. Um, which is, of course, not good for playing. And this time I, I'm a bit more confident, but I still will probably lose this one because I didn't have too much health to begin with. So employing another tactic of running up behind them and grabbing the the block from behind instead instead of doing this thing. Uh, this will not give me enough time. This one will not Ah, very close. This. I did it. See? Much better when you don't have lag on your controller. I thought there was something wrong with the Super Nintendo controller and the Super Game, but that I, I hadn't noticed until now, but no. It was just the, the lag caused by the DVD, but now I've sorted that, and now it's controlling fine. <laughs> like the game was intended. Much better. Right, but again on the subject of Iwata dying, it's made me think a bit about how strange it is that the fact that I'm really... I've been really sad today about an executive of a company dying. I mean, in one way, it's just like, I'm, I get sad with, and when anyone dies, but it's strange. That, um, like, am I this much of a fanboy, or...? But it's not, I, I, it's not just that. I mean, I am a fanboy of Nintendo, but... Iwata was, first of all, too young, and he was uh, such a nice man, he, he shouldn't have died. Just simple as that. Uh, oh, no need to go there again. Okay. But also with uh, Sakurai, who made this game, and later more famous for uh, Smash Brothers. He's a man who seems very overworked. I mean, even now when Smash Brothers is done, it's not. I mean, are they making that much DLC for Smash? And he seems to be still to be totally overworked. 
Yeah, it feels like... Sakurai, feel, it feels like he's going to work himself to death or something within the next, next couple of years. I'm kind of worried about him. Now well, this is... Oh yeah, it's this part. Kirby turns into... Flying enemy, uh, flying, flying Kirby, and the uh, game becomes a 2D shooter for a little while. 2D shooters, of course, being my one of my least favorite genres, but uh, I'll make do. Although it kind of looks like shots are passing through me. It happened a couple times. Dance time! Lovely clouds. Well, there's just to the far left of the screen that appears to be a safe zone. That flying, that cloud enemy usually is one of the tr more tricky to me anyway bosses in Kirby games. Huh. Another flying episode. Better now, and bye bye. Dance time. Final boss. <laughs> yeah, this game is pretty short, but uh, it's perfect length for portable gaming, I have to say, at least. Also, it's the thing that if, if you do something, something, you. you there's some kind of alternate mega crew collection thing in Kirby. Ah, oh, never mind. I have to fight all the bosses first. Oh, I got too close. And then I jump. He jumps into me. What a piece of shit. Okay, one more chance. It's difficult, he has so much health. Okay. Ah, I'm not gonna make this. I can feel it. Yeah. That was close. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I was on one. Huh. <sighs> I <laughs> was a one point of health for most of the fight. <laughs> and Kirby blows up to a giant balloon and lifts DDD's castle off the mountaintop. Damn, how much. <laughs> Kirby can suck a lot. Masa Sakurai! <laughs> Kyohei Miyabi, I don't know who you are. Sunday rain. <laughs> you did a good job. Special thanks to Bubby. Special thanks to Cypher <laughs> from The Matrix. Shouldn't trust him. Presented by Hell Laboratory Incorporated, licensed to Nintendo. Anyway, I'm gonna call it quits there. Thank you, Satori Wata, for this game, although you didn't actually make it. Thank you, Sakurai. Thank you, but thank you, Wata, for helping to get this game out there, uh, along with so many other games. Please understand. I will really miss you. Bye-bye.